right, it's time to start working on the top kick. First things first, we gotta get it over to the shop. We're gonna use my little Kubota here to do so. But uh, it currently will not start. It used to run. It's got a 366 tall deck in it with TBI. And uh, I filled it up with fuel, tapped on the injectors, did all I could. The fuel is getting there. It's just not working. So we're gonna pull it over there and see if we can diagnose what's going on with that. And we gotta pull the bed off because I have big plans for this thing. We're taking it on a road trip next week. The bed's got to come off because there's something else going on it. Yeah. I like your confidence in that 5 8 bolt. It's a great eight, right? Sure. About to find out. All right. All right, so we're, you bought this truck where? Gulf Shores, Alabama. And drove it all the way back here to Georgia? Drove it all the way back to Georgia. Did you have any problems with it? Nope. I put a set of plugs, the plug wires, blower motor, and drove it home. Sweet. And this is how it looked when you got it. It had the big old gap here. Yep, big old gap. And you put the little filler panels in there, which um, it made it look way better for sure. Yes, it did. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little goofy. Here's the fuel that came out of it. Looks pretty good. Until you look down here. Let's see, she's got some rust in there. This is officially the dirtiest fuel tank I think I've ever seen. It's huge. <laughs> it's a huge tank. This is the dirtiest. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, this is the second batch. You should have. Okay. Yeah. She roof. Look at it. Look at it already separated. Yeah. Well, all righty then. Oh yeah, look. That's crazy. That is disgusting. I had to put a fuel pump in there, but uh, luckily the tank is super easy to get on and off, so I slid it out, replaced the fuel pump, she fired right up. What you gonna say, Bert? Now we gotta get pictures of that one and, uh, and Betty. Oh yes. yeah. Well, I'm going to get the same bed that you. Almost the same thing you have on the other truck. So that's even better yet. We're gonna have uh, matching trucks. All right, the old top kick is ready. We got the bed off because we're on the way to Mississippi to see my buddy Wesley. I'm getting a big old flat bed to go on it, and uh, we may be bringing something home with us. Don't know yet, but we're gonna hook up to the trailer. Get on the road. We haven't driven this thing yet. I had to put two fuel pumps in it, clean the tank out. The tank was really nasty. 
Uh, we did new belts, checked everything, ch changed all the fluids, cleaned the windows. And she's, uh, she's ready to go. All right, here we go. Hooking up the trailer for the first time. It's like a mini semi truck. I love it. I burn out. Oh God, yeah, got some pep. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I don't know why this is funny. Transmission goes right into gear, which is great. Go check it out. Okay. That's better. She got a little bit of rake to her. So the end goal with this truck, uh, all of this is going away. For this trip, it's gonna stay, but the new bed's gonna sit on top of here, just for the time being, just to get it home. But when I get it home, these boxes are coming off we're going to renegotiate all of these, the fuel tank and the new bed is going to sit directly on the frame. So it'll sit down over the tires. So, but for right now it may look a little goofy, but uh, the end goal for this truck is to be my toy hauler basically. It'll haul all the, the trailers, have a big nice flat bed for, you know, whatever we may need. Side by side. Side by side. First fill up held 43 gallons we put what 15 gallons in at the house yeah at so least it's at probably least a 60 gallon tank ish yeah somewhere in there so let's just say it gets 10 miles a gallon that should get us 600 miles so theoretically we should get to wesley's house and back on one tank <laughs> so all right so this is our first time we're about to get on the interstate give it a shot a little the little semi trip the turn radius on this thing is very impressive though like it turns really sharp honestly like, like i said right now without the bed it's like a little semi yeah unloaded semi the little fifth wheel hitch back there <laughs> now we need the double air horn mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> Air horn, a couple uh, air tanks underneath. Yes, gas gauge doesn't work. Not surprised. It works for a little while. Nah, it's, it's backwards, so it's way past. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, all right. The suspension of a semi. Oh boy. We're not even on the interstate yet. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to that green ramp truck, man. <laughs> This has got a little bit of cushion. She's got some get up. I mean, granted, she's been shortened a lot. This used to be a 24 foot box truck. So, and my blinkers work. That's Thanks. weird. We're showing 180,000 miles on the odometer here. All right, so we're at 180,305 and it's working. So, I don't have a trip meter. We're going know, 70, 75. 83. No, no clue what RPM we're turning. It doesn't sound bad. Should probably rethink the speaker situation. So I got a giant Bluetooth subwoofer speaker deal from my house because the radio doesn't work. It's behind the seat. I'm sitting too close to the steering wheel because I wanted to have a radio on this trip. And we've got this room back here because of it. So, I have to move that thing to the front. Like up here somewhere, put this stuff back there. Yeah, that'll, that ought to sit back there to where we can drop it. Yeah. We just put the speaker right here, really jammed. 
so far so good. It's, it's not bad. We're just we're cruising 75 comfortably. Got a little wind noise. We need to put some door seals in it. Yeah. Need to wash it. The thing's filthy. We just uh, the weather has been terrible around the house. We've had tornado warnings, flash floods, and so it's been really hard to try and film what we've been doing because it's, we couldn't fit it in the shop. And it's been outside, so we've been outside in the rain working on it to try and get it ready for this trip. So it's been very difficult to try and film everything, but we did film some. Uh, the gas tank was severely rusted. It's the worst I'd ever seen. Very bad. You know, and the correct way to do that would be to replace it or get it boiled out or cleaned. Uh, we didn't do the, you know, either one of those. We beat on it with a mallet and uh, got it out the best we could. Put the fuel back through a t-shirt, pour it back in. So uh, I'm sure it's happier now that it's got 45 gallons of fresh fuel in it. Yeah. I believe he said the top speed on the thing was like 73, 74. Yeah, I guess I'm cruising comfortable 70 now. I'm, I'm gaining, look, 75, 76. I'm still digging. Seventy-six. Going uphill. Let's let's wait till it levels out. Sounds like a quadruped. Yeah. All right, here we go. Dude, look, I'm almost to eighty. Oh, seventy-eight. <laughs> Found it. It cut off at seventy-eight. <laughs> That's not bad. Dude, Chevy, that's a great cruising speed. With this big truck? Yeah. So I might as well take advantage of why I'm too close to the steering wheel. So I got to turn you off so I can turn that on because I can't play music while you guys are watching. So we'll check back in later. Oh yeah, it's pouring out of the trans. I can see it. Still on the ground? That looks oh, good. Yeah. Can you see where it's coming from? Uh, we've made it about 15 miles and noticed a bunch of fluids on the back of the truck and all over the back window. So we pulled over and it looks like the trans was puking out of like a little plate on the side of it. I don't know anything about Allison's, but it was dripping from somewhere. And it kind of looked like that area. So we cleaned off a brake clean, started the truck. It wasn't leaking anymore. I may have overfilled it last night when I topped all the fluids off. We're gonna get back on the road and give it another shot. Go another 15 miles. <laughs> All right, we just made it to my buddy Wesley's house. You would think he's a Ford guy, but he's got all kinds of toys here. But the truck did good. I overfilled uh, the transmission so it puked out what it didn't want all over the truck, all over the trailer. I don't guess it's gonna rust. The whole trailer is covered in transmission fluid, but it eventually stopped, so. Check out them OBS tail lights on that 
what is this, four inch angle. Some nice zip tie work going on. Hmm. I didn't do that. But the truck did good. The road was so rough on the drive down. Brandon got out on the side of the road to pee and the, the door pins fell out. We had to put hose clamps in them to keep them from falling out. The dome light fell out. The radio fell out. We got seven miles to the gallon, which really sucks. But I'm not complaining, it's still cool. So now we're here. I'm about to see the bed that we got from Wesley. We're gonna put it on here later on after we eat and totally give this truck a makeover. There is a lot of Ford trucks here. I gotta know why you have so many. <laughs> Long story, but me and my buddy Josh was out looking for trucks and a friend of ours reached out and said, man, I know a guy that's got some trucks. He said, they've been there for years. And I was looking for a good solid cab and front cab and we go out there and meet with a guy. And he says, uh, son, I'll, I'll sell that truck to y'all. He said, but I'd rather for you to take all of them. <laughs> How many did you have to get to get the one? Oh, uh, I think we wound up hauling 10 in. Damn. Yes. So we've got the four wheel drive over in Alabama, not far from you. And I was looking for good body panels in order to make that a good solid truck. Cause it's hard to find a short bed, clean four wheel drive and a bump side. Yeah. So that's how we wound up with them and a year ago over the christmas holidays we all took trailers and winches and tractors and we hauled them in here two and three at a time till we finally all till we got them all here <laughs> that's kind of like what we did with the tri fives yeah i bought the one went back for all the parts cars but they really come in handy because i bought this old wrecker dude out, the wrecker is sweet i, I bought love it. it i bought it out in nevada Let's go look at it. It had uh, been decommissioned and been off the track uh, from the Pahrump Valley Speedway, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the engine was locked up in it from sitting. And um, those trucks have really come in handy as far as robbing parts to get this thing back on the road. Yeah, dude. So we still got a few more things to do to it, but it's coming together nicely. Another hot rod snatcher, too. Yeah. Well, uh, and my buddies on a cruise in, we had at his house, I hooked my little 65 fastback up behind it and hauled it over there, and everybody just went crazy over it. It was like, man, that's a cool setup. Very. You don't ever see these. I mean, I wanted the truck to match the era of car also, you know. Yeah. Well, that's why... I've always wanted like a chassis like that, like a big truck like that, but like a oh yeah, like a fifty, Definitely. like a fifty-seven Chevrolet. Like I got a, some buddies that's done the same thing yeah. that you that you're doing with that, and man, they're handy. They yeah. are. I think y'all gonna love it if y'all can get it faster than seventy. Uh, no, when you get that flatbed on it and get it loaded down with all your stuff, it's gonna ride way better. Yeah, I hope so. So maybe before y'all leave, we'll have it where y'all can gin on down the highway. This thing is cool. I love it. Dude, this so, I met you in Biloxi a couple years ago, but. Last you, year. No, the year before. No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The first year you brought. The first year I brought the 57 right. down right. is when I first met you. And then this past year, you were in this with a giant barbecue grill behind it. It's around back. We're going to eat off of it tomorrow. What we got here? That's the original 360. Never been out of the truck. Original paint truck. Oh, dude. Steel is... factory four speed. I just dolled it up some with the, you know. I like it. Mostly used parts. I'm a hoarder on used parts, so. Me too. I uh, lowered it, put the tires and wheels on it. We uh, tinted the windows, and I guess I've had it now. I'm gonna say between 12 and 15 years, maybe. I like it. She's a beauty. California truck, so thankfully no rust. Yeah. Everybody thinks it's hard to believe that it's original paint, but it is. It looks good. Looks really good. Original interior. You can open that door if you want to. Ooh, we got some patina going. Slow. We got some patina right there. I know that. 
You did that on purpose? Did you do that on purpose? That was me and a buffer. Oh. Learn the hard way. Oh, damn. Look at the seat. Look at the door panels. Oh, man, look. I forgot about this. It still works. I devalued it. That's awful. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the signature. signature. Yeah. yeah I, was go I got accused of getting home and taking that off. What? Uh, I think it was Cotton's. Like, he's going to wipe that off and then gets home. I'll, I'll wipe Cotton's off. <laughs> That's funny. This thing is nice. Is this your first time driving an old Ford pickup truck? Pickup truck? Yeah. I drove the Bronco. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, this is this is this yeah. This in the floor, so that's. Oh yeah. That's a plus. That's not three on the tree. Yeah, it's, it's not on the tree. Dark block, um, Mr. Lawrence out of New York, the Lawrence racing engine, 377 cubic inch, um, 8.2 deck motor, set of six low heads, set up by uh, Mr. Brian Tooley. Uh, when I bought the car, I got all the information from Mr. Lawrence himself, called, talked with him. Um, he freshened the motor up a couple years back for the people that owned the car before me. Um, he said it dynoed around 632. Then they uh, went from a solid roller back to a hydraulic roller. He said it probably lost around 27 horsepower. So it's pretty stout to be a 600 horse naturally aspirated 8.2 deck height engine. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, so this is the wife's car? Yeah. Uh -huh. This is her 86 GT, 19,754 miles. Original paint, original interior. Um, if you don't mind, David, hop in there and check this thing crank. I don't mind at all. Watch your dog bumper. And watch the dog. You can't get in here, doggy. <laughs> Whoa, look at the carpet. Is this insulation or is this carpet? That's carpet. Is this for real? Yes, indeed. Who would do that? <laughs> Why would you? Uh... Well, he got started on the carpet and the seats and never made it to the door panels and the dash. A good friend of mine, this was his truck in high school. So. Wow, it's a bad boy. <laughs> That's the name of it. The tag. <laughs> bad boy sticker in the, in the back. Look at the tent. Brandon, you need this. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's some riding. That's some riding on your roads down here. <laughs> Damn pins fall out. <laughs> There's the new bed for the truck. It's definitely safer than the strap. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, hit the button. 
Is that enough? Yeah, yeah. Hey. You're good. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I, don't, know, I don't know why you were questioning it. <laughs> I thought. We're coming in from this way. Not what? That way. Wait a minute. He said we were questioning it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to it. Yeah. Carry, I carry all this luggage. <laughs> carry all this luggage everywhere we go. I'm Every, eating. Yeah. See. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Now we know. Uh, commercial break. <laughs> It had stacks on it. We took the stacks off before we got here. I was wondering what happened. Cool. It's fairly high enough. 